I'm trying something different with how I filmed this video. Normally when I watch vlogs, I like to see everything. I like to see the good. I like to see the bad. I like to see the boring. I've been watching vlogs for a decade now. So you would think I know how to vlog well, but I do notice, I catch myself, I'm only showing the highlights really. With this video, I wanna show you guys everything over the next few days, everything that I'm doing. Let's get this day started. Breakfast. Just to jog everyone's memory a bit, I drove down from Virginia into North Carolina just a few days ago, making this state number four on this journey. After a few days of getting myself reorganized and relaxing and filming a video, it is finally time to start exploring Charlotte. Oh no, I want to get water. My first stop in Charlotte is going to be the King's Drive Farmer's Market. I feel like farmer's markets are fun even just to like, you know, walk around and stuff, but I could buy some produce. Depends, we'll see. This is so exciting. Like I've been doing close to nothing for a week now. So I guess Charlotte in the distance, it's uptown apparently, not downtown. So I can't call it downtown Charlotte. Guys, I was so confused because I thought it was like an outdoor farmer's market. I guess I didn't do enough research, but it's like an indoor thing. I passed it because I was like, where the hell is this farmer's market? Okay, this time I know where I'm going. Look, see? What? That's no, not. Oh my goodness. Where is this farmer's market? It's a Christmas market. I'm gonna go figure out what's going on because I don't really know. It looks like it's just like a Christmas farm thing going on now. <laughs> this guy saw me looking confused, so he's like, do you need help, ma'am? In the strongest Southern accent <laughs> ever. <laughs> so I was like, oh, does the market turn into like a Christmas tree farm thing? And he was like, yeah. For anybody wondering, the last day that Kings Drive market Sells produce is October 31st. <laughs> I was gonna do all my Charlotte sightseeing over the course of two days, but honestly, I might just do it in one. Is this the biggest city in North Carolina? I don't know. Biggest city in North Carolina. Charlotte, yeah. Huh. Ticket cannot be issued at the moment. Okay. There's like this app where you get a historical tour of Charlotte, so that's how I'm my day. So I don't know if I'd recommend that app, it's just like okay, but listening to, you know, the stories, I think I get the sense that this used to be like a predominantly black neighborhood and it was Changed with an urban renewal in the 60s and 70s where they were kind of forced out of their homes so I guess they could develop Charlotte into this city. Earlier this year, a team of 42 artists came together to paint this alleyway and the project is called Luminous Lane. The theme for this project was bringing light to dark places and I think you can see that with every work of art in here and just like as a whole you know like bringing color into what was once just another alleyway it's beautiful like seeing art and community come together to form something like this okay and that's really it for uptown <laughs> heading back to my car one more stop i want to make before chilling for the rest of the day we are driving two miles away to this thing called camp north end and i'll tell you more about it when we get there Everyone's going to Camp North End. This is the spot on a Saturday. So 
So from what I understand, Camp North End is in what used to be a factory here in Charlotte. Basically, it's a place with a lot of food, shops, little things to do. I definitely want to get lunch while I'm here because it's like noon and I'm hungry. I chose to get food from this place called Soul Miner's Garden. The Sherman Philly sandwich was really speaking to me. Mushrooms, grilled veggies, provolone cheese, agave mustard. Yum. This was delicious. Okay, I'm back in the van. Camp North End, 10 out of 10. Highly recommend. And now, I'm done sightseeing. back in my hangout spot in the area. I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do for the next two days because I really thought I'd be sightseeing. We're gonna see, we're gonna see what I'm gonna do. So I'm going to the library, use the bathroom, I'm gonna charge my things up. If I have nothing to do for the next like two days or so, I figured I'm just gonna get a start on really getting ahead with some video editing. ramen today that I've never tried before. We'll see how it is, but... I have the ramen here. I just add two eggs. So I haven't actually vlogged in a day because yesterday I was just editing. Nothing for you to see really. But today should be more exciting because I am prepping to go on a little mountain road trip tomorrow. First stop I want to make is Target. Brush my teeth, fill up my water bottle. They have a really great water bottle filler. So I've already been there for like over two hours now charging up my things. Uh, basically done, but it is time to go get some lunch. I think like most people, you know, I eat at home being the minivan a lot. Like I get groceries and I make my food in here. But today, I got Chipotle, yum. I'm being hit with like the nastiest food coma right now. I have errands to run, so. Oh my gosh, let's go. At my parking lot of the week and i think i'm just gonna take a nap before i do anything else because oh my god that chipotle hit me just kidding i never went to sleep i just scrolled on my phone a bit and i've just been cleaning up some stuff now that i had the water i washed some dishes and honestly i'll just be spending the rest of the night relaxing and going to the gym so i'll check in with you guys tomorrow do you hear it raining. I'm switching it up today and going to the gym in the morning. It's going to be my last shower <laughs> for the next few days. I'm all showered and clean. <laughs> I also did get my workout in, so yay. You know what I've been finding interesting about North Carolina license plates is that they all have the same kind of formula. It's always three letters and then four numbers. Sometimes there's variations, but like that's like the general, what I've been noticing. I have seen my initials, so that's kind of funny. But then I was thinking, oh my gosh, if I lived in North Carolina and I got a custom license plate, I'd get my initials and then my birthday. To anybody else, it would just look like random, but to me, I don't know what it meant. And I wonder if anybody does that. I just like, guess I just don't know because I don't know their name or their birthday. Let's hit the road. Little lunch stop. Yum. I 
I did not know what this road was gonna be like, but it's like all uphill and curvy and it's raining, there's trucks. My minivan is just having a hard time. <laughs> Foot to the ground, pedal to the metal, what? Yeah, pedal to the metal, is that a, that's a thing, no? Anyway, we're still going. There's more twists and turns. I literally cannot go faster. Mm, I'm getting nervous driving this road. Uh, I'm almost there though. I'm almost ready to be. It was the most stressful thing in my life so far. Not really. <laughs> no, it wasn't that dramatic. Woo! We've made it, guys, to Walmart. Let's go find a spot. I've made it to this Walmart in Spruce Pine. I'm just outside of Pisgah National Forest. Starting tomorrow, I'm going to be road tripping through the mountains of North Carolina and Tennessee. I want to get an early start tomorrow, so I'm just going to be relaxing here for the rest of the day. Thanks so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!